Refuse to fuck with the media, but I had to tap in with my people, man. Refuse media, that interview coming soon. They just lined me up for the free throw, you hear me? Yeah. Do be on the lookout. Oh. All right, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man, like I was saying, man, first out-of-state uh, interview on the Refuse media, man. We got Trey Rodden, man. What's up, man? Thanks for fucking with me. Thanks for coming to the Refuse media, man. Appreciate you. Dry, yeah, you already know, my nigga, though. You feel mm -hmm. me? Feel me? First name from out of town that really tapped in with the lock, though. You feel me? Off top, man. They go up top, man. I know talent when I see and hear that shit, man. For real. Oh, good. I respect that, bro. I appreciate you, bro. For real. Off top, off top, my nigga. Let's you get into hella, the You got hella niggas on me out here in the city hating on a nigga because of that shit. What? Hey, that's how I go, my nigga. Oh, me, though. I hate it, too. It is hey. That's how I go, bro. Like, even out here, my nigga, like, it's a little, it, it get it get tricky when Refuse fuck with you because it almost seemed like the industry know, like, I know who gonna go. You know what I'm saying? So if I fuck with you, they they be on attack mode for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So let's get into the interview, nigga. Let's talk about that name, nigga, Trey Ryder. Where did it originate from? Was it always Trey Ryder? Give us a little bit. Nah, uh, it, it was Trey Mac at first, like, I was going by Mac for the longest. Me and my nigga Stiffer, my nigga Zach, rest in peace. He just got killed and shit out here. Uh, he was Rob and I was Mac. You feel me? Rob Stiffer, Rob Stiffer's the nigga off of uh, American Pie. Mm. You feel me? Like, <coughs> Stiff and the bitches, I was Mac in the hoes. Like, that's what we were saying type shit. You feel me? Okay, okay, so, okay. I was I was Trey Mac because I was from the east side. Now here on the east side, it's East season threes. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we go by. You feel me? Niggas is banging the three out here on the east side of the map. You feel me? And, um, so I just put the three before it, and shit, I went by that the whole little time or whatever, and then I started, uh, started finding my way through the set and shit, you know what I'm saying, about to bang it, uh, I started banging these side riders and shit, uh, and shit, my, my big homie gave me that shit, he was like, shit, you can't go by Trey Mac, that's some blood shit, <coughs> you feel me, and then shit, he was just like, you got Trey Rodder, went by a few different names, threw a few different names out there, and I just took Trey Rodder, like, shit, fuck it, alright, we gonna go with that. Okay, okay, off top, off top. So, okay, now for those that don't know, give us a little bit about, like, what it's like in life in Colorado, my nigga. Like, like in L.A., I know I can speak from my hometown in L.A., we not knowing. So I know we only knowing what they show on TV, you know what I'm saying? Like, give us a real, like, if I go to Colorado and I hop off the plane and I leave that, I'm coming to the soil where we at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I'm going to see. Shit, if you come and fuck with me, bro, you're going to go to the east side, my nigga. So I'm, you know what I'm saying, come get you from DIA or whatever, get on the highway. Out that way, it really ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, Green Valley and shit, that's just, like, where they push niggas type shit once niggas start getting gentrified and shit. Like, the mm -hmm. East has always been historically known for, you know what I'm saying, like, black people, five points and shit. Like, that was a, that's a historical landmark for us, for our black people out here. You know what I mean? Right. So, that's, that's where I'm from, though. You know what I mean? That's my little, that's my area. You know what I mean? But it's Park Hill, the East Side, you got... Uh, <coughs> and shit, but really though, the nigga areas and shit, the black people areas is Park Hill on the east side and shit. That's that's where you know what I'm saying, like started going down that early, early, early. You feel me? Like okay, you go back to you know what I'm saying, way back in the time and shit. Like you know what I'm saying, that's who popped it off. You feel me? The the older niggas from the east side in Park Hill, the Boyz's and uh, Black Hole Posse, and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Then with the Denver gangs, you know what I'm saying, gangsters of love, like little shit like that. You feel me? Like we had our own little, they had their own little sets and shit, little gangs and whatever they was, you know what I'm saying, going by at the time, you know what I mean, but all of that transferred into the Lux, you know what I'm saying, like, all that shit transferred all into the Crips and Bloods and shit, the B-O-Y-Z's was, was the Bloods and Gangsters of Love, like, they separated into Crips and Bloods and shit, and then the Black Hole Posse, like, most of them was the Lux, they from, they from the 30s, you know what I mean? The okay. Black Hole Posse was right there, the Black Hole was on the east side. Okay, okay, and what's, like, Okay, due to the weather situation, like what's 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 the big crimes out there? Like out here, you probably know. Like right now, it's flocking. Ten years ago, it was it was big dope dealing, but not not you know what I'm saying. It ain't too many crackheads no more. So niggas is flocking and doing the most. With it being so cold in the winter and the weather changing, like what niggas be on? Oh shit, it really don't change. Like it's cold, but niggas adapt to it though. It is what it is. Like if you if you from here, like niggas ain't about to let that stop nothing. You feel me? The base heads ain't going nowhere. Shit. They about to be outside whether it's cold, hot, snowing, raining, shit. You feel me? So niggas okay. sell dope. That's what they do. They, you know what I'm saying? They do their thing. But you know what I'm saying? This robbery, all that shit. Same little shit. You feel me? They same know, shit. Dude, you feel me? Like niggas on the same little thing. Niggas hitting niggas' cars. You feel me? Niggas do all types of shit. You feel me? <coughs> me personally, 
you know what I'm saying? I mind my business and, and do my thing, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Shit, different little things. I got my, like I said, I got my clothing and shit, you feel me? That I yeah. Okay, you know okay. Niggas and, got their uh, own different hustles. There's a bunch of different shit out here. And when you when you start rapping, like how long you been rapping? Shit. Uh, I'll say I started rapping seriously like in 2000. Uh, in like 2013, I was rapping before that shit just with my homies and shit. So like 2011, 2012, because my nigga okay. Eddie and shit, he had his own studio. He always been rapping. They got this shit out here called Too Big, Too Big Entertainment. That's where I started out at. You feel me? Just fucking with him and shit. You know, early getting kicked out. That's where I was at. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let me come through and shit. You know what I'm saying? Childhood friend. Saw sliding over there and the niggas was rapping. I was more in the streets. Like, they was more than, you know what I'm saying, the rappers and shit. I was in the streets. I wasn't really worried about that shit. I, if I was recording a song, it's because I just got over here in the, in the middle of the night. You feel me? And we ain't doing nothing. Off top. You Off feel top. Me, bro? Okay. Seriously, I started rapping about 2013 when I got committed. <clears throat> okay. And let's talk about the projects. I love the title, The Whole Enchilada. The Whole Enchilada. The whole enchilada. I love that title, man. What, 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 what What's the reason behind that title? Because it's just with a whole bunch of different feels and flavors on there. A bunch of different songs, a bunch of different, you know what I'm saying? Mm. A bunch of different, you know what I'm saying, ways I can come about things. Because, shit, I, don't, I ain't just, I ain't got one thing to say. I ain't, you know what I'm saying, just talking about, you know what I'm saying, one subject. I can spit about a bunch of different shit everywhere. I'm, you know what I'm saying, everywhere with it. Yo. Yo. So you're gonna get the whole shebang. And I had a couple of my partners and shit from all there, you feel me? You know what I'm so it was the whole inch a lot of out. I was supposed to do a couple more songs and shit, but I was like, fuck it, I'm about to just chill out and just you know what I'm saying, worry about something else right now. <coughs> no, that's what's up. That's what's up. And I like how you kept it going, like volume one, volume two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That go. I'm that gonna come to volume three when I get back out here. Just on you know what I'm saying later on. Okay, okay. What was young Trey Water like? I'm talking 10, 11 years old. Young. Yeah. Um, I was playing sports and shit, you feel me? But I was always, like, hella aggressive and shit. Like, that just was me. Like, you feel me? Like, when we was playing sports, like, I played for the Disciples and shit. So, on the east side, well, in my area, like I said, and on my side of town, that's who you wanted to play for type shit. Either the, yeah. the Disciples or Prince Hall, you feel me? But. If you was from Park Hill, shit, in that type of area or whatever, you was playing for, you know what I'm saying, the um, Park Hill Falcons or the Blackhawks or the Pirates or something like that. <coughs> you, don't, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, don't want to say it like this when they're getting their feelings done like that, but you know what I'm saying? Not if niggas was from Park Hill or from the east side, but shit, if that's where your parents made you play. But me, my parents, the way my dad was heavily involved in shit, I was on the east side fucking around. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? At that time, I was just playing sports. You feel me? Hella, hella on the field. That's it. Really, I wouldn't really doing too much you feel me sneaking off to the corner store getting a little candy and shit off top off top yeah I my like mom to wouldn't be... play that shit i ain't gonna lie to you no nah, yeah no nah, i feel you i like the realness because that's why i be everywhere in my interviews that's why i be about the streets your life the music because i like them to, to understand trey rider as, as a musician and then understand where you came from and who you are you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Yeah, What's like, your favorite having that shit i ain't gonna lie like a nigga always thought i was a crypto just because that's my pops you feel me? my pops was always like, mm -hmm. his name, you know what I'm saying, was hella good out here. You feel me? His name was hella good. So, you feel me? It's like, shit. <coughs> you feel me? That shit's always in a nigga. You feel me? When you see any young, and <coughs> always around it. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> so, <coughs> that's always just been a, a, a portion of my life and shit. But, yeah, my mom wasn't playing that shit. Like, as far as being out here, leaving, and you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of my partners and shit, a couple yeah. of my partners, they was out here early and shit, but not me. I was, yeah. of course, about 14. Off top, off top. <laughs> no, that's a cool age, honestly. That's that's that. Yeah, that's a that's that, that's a straight. And you wasn't late, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. And then see, yeah, you you know, one thing I can say though that I'm forgetting to say is that I used to work at barbershops and shit. You feel me? Mm. So outside of playing sports, I used to work at the barbershop. You feel me? So, and they was lacing me. You feel me? Hella lacing me with game and shit. Yeah. You feel me? Of course, when you're in the barbershop, you hear all types of shit. You feel me? If you paying attention, you feel me? And so I was always <laughs> in my motherfucker. You feel me? You know what I'm saying sweeping. You you was, the or you was like the young nigga sweeping. Nah, hell nah, sweeping. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Stop. Definitely not chopping nobody. They had me in there sweeping, doing my thing, going to the corner store, getting them some shit, area the little, you know what I'm saying, a little once in a while. Yeah. You feel me? Burgers and shit, come back around the corner. Hey, little G, go get the motherfucking burgers for it, nigga, man. Sliding for him. 
That's what's up because they was gaming you up. I'm sure that's what's yeah. up. I'm and and they was paying me though. Like I wasn't going in there for nothing. Like they, I'm promise you, I was getting about a dub from them. So plus for each tier type shit, it was three tiers. Yeah. Like RP was plugging me in, and oh, I ain't gonna lie, my nigga RP and O was plugging me in. My nigga buddy was paying me too, but you know what I'm saying, buddy toss a nigga a dub. I might get 40, 50 from you know what I'm saying, O or RP. You know what yeah. If I did yeah. my job right and on some real shit, them niggas really taught me a lot. I ain't gonna lie, I got caught trying to steal a do rag in that motherfucker one time. And I'm what working in here. What they oh, do, me, nigga. my nigga. Oh, like, damn, like, that's how you gonna do it, nigga. He like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas buy you food, little nigga. You feel me? Give you bread. Like, you about to steal a do rag, nigga. I would have gave you that motherfucker. You feel me? Is it that serious? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that, you know, like I said, they just gamed a nigga, taught a nigga loyalty. You feel me? Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Taught a nigga the understanding that you feel me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, loyalty. Understanding yeah. loyalty. You feel me early? So. What's your uh what's your favorite food? Uh shit, seafood. I ain't gonna lie. So some some catfish, some crab legs, you feel me? Like love it. Off top, off top. Now that one, that question, a two-part question, nigga. On this uh on this channel, me and wifey, we got a show called Hoodies that we do. We yeah. go to all the little spots to eat. You gotta let me know when I come to Colorado, when I come to your jurisdiction on the east side, man, where I gotta go eat. Uh, Willow Street Cafe for sure. Okay. Me, Willow, hey, hey, and they got this spot called Jenna Rays too in the hood that they just built too. So Jenna Rays is cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they done took some shit from niggas though. Like I said, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's gentrified. So I'm you gonna get down here, I'm gonna be kind of depressed. Like, cuz it ain't even shit. <laughs> Boy, yeah, it ain't even I'm telling you, they trying to move my they trying to move my niggas up off of the five. They try they trying to move Well Street up off the five. Like, bro, it's like man, homie, like hey, hey, believe it or not, they trying to do Crenshaw like that. They trying to do our street, our home. They they putting a train through that motherfucker. They took routes out, nigga. You know they gonna put a Whole Foods or some shit, yeah, nigga. You they took it routes out, nigga. They changed the, the D line to the L line. Niggas is out here confused, like what the fuck is the L line? Yeah, yeah, that's how they yeah, doing, crazy. man. That's right. They doing that shit across the nation right now. That's crazy, bro. That shit definitely crazy. I ain't about to lie to you, man. That's okay. So let's get on this while we on that. The gangs in Colorado. So y'all, you y'all thirties, right? Like, that's the area. Like, it's rolling thirties. You feel me? Is rolling thirty gangs the crib? That's what niggas is type shit. Like, I know niggas. You're know saying that wouldn't even make no sense out there. Niggas be doing that. You're know saying politics. Yeah, that's it. I said. I was gonna tell you yeah. out here, out here. That would hey. that would be like contradicting a little uh, bit. Me, I, out I'm already here. knowing. I'm I'm okay. already knowing. You feel me? But shit, the way I take it and how I look at it is, is shit. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Niggas ain't even out here tripping with no California hoods. Yeah, you, you in a whole like, nother ain't never. But nah, like, that's what niggas do, though. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? The 60s and the A-Trades out here, they trip. They got issues and shit. Like, shit. Oh, like, oh that's okay. That shit travels. That shit travel. That ain't no, like, you feel me? That's a, It's an epidemic. That shit go from place. That's why we take this shit so serious. That's why, like, when niggas on the east side be, like, moving and shit, I be like, cuz, calm down with that shit, bro. Like, his niggas ain't moving, my nigga. Like, that ain't got nothing to do. Like, niggas is gangsta Chris, my nigga, but niggas is from Denver, Colorado, my nigga. We on our own time, my nigga. Like, straight yeah. up, my nigga. Like, let that shit be, let it be what it is, my nigga type shit. Like, and then a lot of these niggas don't even be from down here type shit. Like, I ain't about to sit here and put my foot in my mouth and say, I ain't say moving before, but I did that shit to piss the homies off. I ain't even about to lie. I did that shit to see niggas was going to fade me because niggas was talking like they was, you know what I'm saying, trying to hood me and shit. But that's some hood shit, though. You feel me? Yeah. That's some, that's some yeah. hood shit. That's you know what I'm saying. That's some shit that's going on between me and my partners type shit. You feel me? Like, nigga, I'm just saying, though. You feel me? Like, <laughs> niggas really yeah. got a problem, though. Like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with niggas. I fuck with niggas from HA. I don't really fuck with too many niggas from 60s out here like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I done had some. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got respect for a couple of them niggas. I done seen niggas ain't had no issues or nothing. You feel me? Like niggas, niggas ain't tripping or nothing like that. But like I said, I'm from look, side, bro. So that ain't got nothing to do with me. And look, that that was my next question too. Like, what other gangs are there in Colorado? Look, you said it's six O's and eight trays. Like, what else is here? Um. Shit. Oh, look. This is what I want to ask you too. I noticed at the end of your video. What is one A? Yeah, see, that's what I'm about to explain to you. <laughs> so look, all right, so you feel me? It's it's a bunch of different sets within the east side. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So you got Trey Trey, Trey Dudes, Trey Five, Trey Sev, East Side Riders, Rolling Thirties, um, Deuce Third, um, Do Sev, and Do Sev, you know what I'm saying? They they ain't crips, you feel me? They'll tell you that. We ain't crips, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But they from the east side though, and they they will trade after you. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, so, okay. No, that that kind of it's 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 something like that out here too. 
Yeah, where it was a hood that they they kind of was Crips and now they they frontlining like nah nigga we ain't Crips is woo 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 this this yeah, our line yeah. that we pressing so I fully understand that yeah, yeah. Exactly. and then um shit you got the Christian Mafia the part you know what I'm saying they park your country mm. bloods and, mm. and these side riders that's that's what I was saying like that's the one eight you feel me like it's eighteen you feel me it's the eighteenth letter of the alphabet you feel me okay so it's one eight you know what I mean. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, that makes okay, that makes yeah. perfect sense. Okay, that. but um, <laughs> like I said, so they got the Parkway you got they got they sets. Nah, Ferrasi is my music label. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, off top, off top. Okay, that's the fam now. You feel me? Oh shit! And this nigga, <laughs> Officer Shit Stain, Rap Boy, Code Name JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was going? What was going on at that point? I mean, basically, somebody got caught, somebody was telling. Yeah, man. Like, see what had happened was like on some real shit way long time ago, like 2012. You feel me? I, you know, what I'm saying we got in a situation at this at this uh, at the parking ride. Me and dude, you know, what I'm saying me and the dude I was rapping about. We from the same set and shit. You feel me? Um, some niggas was tripping or whatever. But my mom ended up popping up at the parking ride. My little sister, my baby brother. So I'm like. This is not the right time. You feel me? I'm like, yeah. homie, I'm like, chill. I'm like, just chill out though. I'm like, mom, I'm like, when mom's get up out of here, it is what it is. You feel me? But I'm like, I'm like, just chill out though. You feel me? I'm like, just wait till my mom get up out of here. Basically, the nigga brushed me off on some like, uh, nigga, I don't give a fuck about your mom being here, nigga. Nigga, give a fuck about whose mom, who these niggas is tripping. Who do? I'm like, cuz they are. and then at the same time, these niggas wasn't tripping. They, I'm, I'm telling these niggas, like, hey man, my mom is right here in some shit, bro. My mom, when my mom leaves, we can get it popping. They like, yeah. Shit, I respect that. And, yeah. and they some they, they some rare rats. They, they from seven eight one fam out here. You know what I'm saying? And my bella, they was like, nigga, on blood, don't even trip. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Your mom get up out of here, don't even trip. It's all that. Don't even, you you good? I'm like, bet. It's, you know what I'm saying? And, and and all we was gonna do was catch the fade. It wasn't nothing too serious. Yeah. So uh, shit. He get to talking too tough, going all crazy. You shit talking about nigga, don't give a fuck whose mom is here. Blah blah blah. Still still off on cut. You know what I'm saying? Body him up. Doing bad right there, real quick. Um, shit, it, it escalate on. You feel me on to some bullshit. You feel me? Cause at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas was way closer and shit. So yeah. he tells some he tells some people the situation and shit. They try and press me about it. I tell niggas what happened. Niggas like, oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel it. And then um, I go, I get committed. I get committed. You feel me? Boom. That's it. I get committed. Like. I'm etched out of the situation. I don't know what's going on in the streets too much. I'm talking to my yeah. brother Ken and shit. He letting me know what's going on and shit. But I know he got, got I know the nigga, um, the nigga Julius got popped two times or something like that a few times or whatever on the streets. You feel me? Before I got out. Um, a situation ended up popping off where this dude named KL died. He was a rapper out here. You know what I'm saying? One of the homies and shit. Um, <coughs> I guess, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying, what ended up happening is, you know what I'm saying, the police asked the man something about this or whatever, tell him that the same gun that he got popped with is, uh, is, uh, is the, is the weapon that was used when he got popped and the nigga got to drop the names and shit, you know what I mean? Mm, okay. The, it come out, it come out in the Denver Post. Mm. It come out in the Denver Post that he say this. Everybody in the motherfucking city see this shit. I ain't saying nothing that ain't nobody seeing, you feel me? Everybody yeah. in the city see this shit. So in the Denver Post, everybody see this shit. So this, it's one thing. He get to talking about niggas, is the, the news is lying, blah, blah, blah. Then you got niggas in the hood talking about, man, the news do be lying. You feel me? And then yeah. the paperwork pop out. Boom. You feel me? We get the paperwork, you feel me, from, from, from a situation that the homie go to jail. They go to the feds or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That they in the feds with the niggas that he told on. They get the paperwork to the homie. The homie get the paperwork to us. Boom, nigga. You feel me? Yeah, simple. You know yeah. Pop out, my nigga. And then, and yeah. then, and then the the the, the um the red right nigga. That's him saying that's a uh, that's that's out right now. The blood nigga that's out right now. Type shit. He like nigga. I got my paperwork on a nigga too. Type shit. I'm like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, nigga, put that yeah. out here too. Then you feel me? Like nigga. Yeah. He's a rat. You feel me? It is what it is. And, Damn, hold on, I don't know who that is. All right. Damn. So, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Basic hood shit situation. I feel it, I feel yeah, it, I feel, feel it. So. It, it, was, it was explained in the video and song, too. I'm yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. it. Like, and then the nigga, you feel me? Then the nigga, homie, like, this was, this, like, this shit, my nigga, like, the song and shit, like, I did this shit because the nigga keep talking about me. You feel me? Like, this nigga keep, just keep having something to say. Like, like homie, like, let this shit go. Like, 
You feel me? You already told nigga I ain't about to be out here arguing with no snitch and tripping with no snitch and shit. Like nigga, you already told nigga it is what it is. Like you told a nigga that pop too. What you gonna do? To me? Like nigga, I ain't I ain't tripping with you, bro. I don't even want no issues with you, my nigga. It is what it is type shit. But you feel me? We get yeah. we getting a little situation and shit. Boom, bam, boom. Um, yeah. Then motherfucking um, he make a song, make another song. I make a song. You feel me? Yeah. Just let the shit go. He keep making songs. Like if you if, if a nigga gonna look at this nigga's diss, homie, the nigga play like 12 diss songs about me before he drop his song type, before he get to talking about his little song or whatever. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So he and, and then the thing is about my song, the nigga said in the song previous, you know what I'm saying, his little shit, this little diss, the reason why I even, you know what I'm saying, went off on cause he like uh Nigga probably went broke for that Emozzy feature. Like, nigga, like, honey, the verse was $600, my nigga. Like, it was a little yeah. special deal at the time. Nigga, I'm like, bro, nigga, hell no. Nah. Nigga, I dropped it off real quick. Like, fuck it, nigga, yeah. let me get that. Nigga, yeah. what you mean? Nigga, this is a quick yeah. six. Nigga, I need I tried to see yeah. if the homies want to go in with me on it, but niggas, you know what I'm saying? Nigga didn't want to do it real quick, so nigga, I, nigga dropped it off here, my nigga. Boom, let me get that. What you mean? That's like, what you supposed like, to do. Yeah. You sound like you hate, my nigga. Like, what you mean? You sound like you on the bottom of my balls. Like, cuz just a weirdo, my nigga. Like, I don't know, homie. Like, niggas be. Niggas be having like mental disabilities and don't be trying to get them figured out. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got like 20,000 views off of, off of me type shit. You feel me? Trying to figure, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, yeah, the niggas, yeah. The niggas are buster, homie. Like, on out. top, on top, on top. So, opening for Blueface? Yeah, yep. When they, okay, so when, t- tell me about that. When that's going down? Come fuck with me at the Blueface. You feel me? You already know what's going on. Denver, Colorado. Uh, we at the Roxy with it. You know what's going on. That's in the set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, off top, off top, off top. top. All right, for sure, man, off top, man. I got to ask you, man, before we get up out of here. Hold up, before I ask the last question, where can they find you? Where can they find you? Oh, Instagram, man. Find me on Instagram, Trey Rider, she spazzing. My page is private, though, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas have to do this uh, this phone interview because shit, uh, my PR I found out, you know what I'm saying, slid out there one time or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So I got to, you know what I'm saying, get on the right track and get off this probation, man. You feel off, me? Off top, off top. Oh, yeah, as soon as you get off and you come out here, man, we we, we, we going to link up for sure. And I'm going to come out there, so we going to link up before that for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, man, before we get up out of here, man, give me your top five, dead or alive, man, top five rappers, man. Don't matter, old school, new school, don't got to be in order. Uh... Let me see. Biggie, for sure. Biggie, for sure. Uh, damn, top five. That's crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, my fucking, I ain't gonna lie to nigga, the nigga Nipsey. We're all going crazy. Um, filthy. Mm. James Brown, top five, for sure. Oh. <laughs> James Brown. Yeah. Real, that nigga James Brown go crazy on me. I'll tell you, that nigga, hey, cuz goes nuts, nigga. Uh, well, fuck him. Shit, nigga, me. Fuck. Mm, yeah, that's right. Off top. You did all names of other niggas. You feel me out of here? I ain't gonna lie on that. The fuck, nigga, me. Nigga, 30 out of PRC, straight up. Off top, nigga, and there it is. But see, nigga. that's the thing, though, and that's what I do when I, that's what I do when I let you know, though. Like, when niggas say 30s, you feel me? Niggas are saying 30s because that's where niggas is from. Like, the east side, like, every hood, like I said, every hood that I just told you that's from the east side is from 30 or something. Like, it's 32nd, 30, 33rd, 34th, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to say Trey Foe when I was saying, you know what I'm saying? But 34th, um, 35th, like I said, you feel me? My nigga Lil D-Rose from 35th, the nigga that I did the on the hood with and shit, like, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We all from the 30s. Niggas is all from the section. You feel me? That's all 3-0. But niggas ain't from rolling 30s, though. Like, that's not where yeah. I'm from. I'm not from rolling 30s. You feel me? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Niggas know where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? I fully understand it. Nah, I fully, yeah. Nah, with, if you understand the science, I get it. The way you broke it down, you made yeah. it understandable. I fully understand Probably. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Off top, man. We're going to end it right there, man. Top shelf, Jock. Trey riding, my nigga. Yeah. Come out there real soon, bro. We're going to link up, nigga. Yeah, for sure. I'm up out of here, man. Refuse media.